Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Today promises to be fantastic as we have a lot in store for you. Now, I refer today to today as Fashionable Monday because this is my attempt at looking fashionable. Hopefully, when the stylists and the designers come into the studio, they will not tell me it was important. And because you were looking at fashion, fashion, fashion for the larger part of the show. But before we go into the fashion of the AMVCs that happened over the weekend and all the other things that have happened in the fashion industry, we'll be looking at something very important, a tool by which fashion is being pushed forward. And this too is social media. A lot of us are on social media. We use social media for good things, for bad things. Social media has been a tool for construction and destruction as well. This time around, we're looking at social media and the do's and don'ts. Social media etiquette, we dare say. Oye oh, Mike is on the news again. Now he's in the news for something not so nice. He said something about Banky W and the EME group. Well, you'll take a look at the video shortly. But we know that he's been in the news before. He was in the news before for criticizing Noble Ligue for speaking against internet fraud, stating that Nigerian youth should stick together and not blow the whistle on each other, sort of encouraging corruption in one way or the other. Now, we'll take a look at the video of Oye Mike, and then we'll talk about it some more. And right after that, we'll wrap up the banter section by letting you know the things to do and the things not to do on social media. Some people believe that Oye Mike has kind of crossed his limit with regards to what he should say and what he should not say. But you be the judge. Take a look at this video. We'll be right back. Who remembers when Banky W said, I'm the baddest boss? <laughs> and when Whiskey left EME, EME crumbled. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Banky W, but. <laughs> I just find that so funny. <laughs> oh my God. Now that is Oye Mike, who sort of poses on, in on the internet as someone who gives motivational speeches, motivational talks, encouraging and uplifting messages. So it's sort of an irony to see that someone who would naturally, quote unquote, inspire and motivate people would be on social media for the direct opposite reason, which is to throw people and to carry out shame people. Now, Banky W is someone who has earned a respectable spot in the entertainment industry. You will never be able to write the story of many artists without mentioning the names of Banky W and the likes of others. People are like Skills, like Whiskey, and even Mastercraft had come out to defend Banky W. Of course, people had been expecting a response from Banky W, but he put up a post to say, a wise man once said nothing, which attributes to the fact that he's not going to give him any answer, he would not give him any response. Now, what we would like to draw from this is the fact that it's okay for you to have crazy thoughts, but you don't have to air everything that comes to your mind on social media. So when you think these naughty, nasty thoughts, double check before you post, before you put up that video, before you tweet. And if you have second thoughts, then don't post it. Sometimes the posts that we have second thoughts about are the posts we really should not put up. And if you have any doubts and you're not quite sure of your own judgment, there must be one person in your circle that you trust to tell you the truth about. I do that all the time. When I think a picture is not too nice or it's a little too you know, raunchy, I would send it to some people in my trusted circle and ask, what do you think of this picture? And if you decide to go ahead, well, it's your business. But make sure that you exercise your freedom of expression with regards to yourself and do not extend it to criticizing other people or bringing them down. Remember that on social media, you can disagree, but respectfully. Do not go on social media to make mockery of people's misfortunes or to laugh at the fact that you think people are falling down, even when they're falling down. In this case, Banky W hasn't fallen down, you know, but... Oye oh, Mike thought it was, it was an avenue for him to come out and criticize Banky W. But we'd like to encourage him to use his social media for the reason which he originally started to place himself for, which is a motivational speaker. He positioned himself as a quote-unquote social media motivational speaker. He should stick to that and not use social media as an avenue to bring others down. Now, away from Oye oh, Mike, the general rule with regards to social media is just understand that you can respect people's spaces. You don't have to shove your opinion and your ideas down people's throats. It's okay for people to disagree with you. It's okay to disagree with other people. But you can do that respectfully without having to bring people down. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.